Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, Trev. Yeah, you know what? There's no one here. They're all gone. It's closed. You know what this reminds me of? My insurance company. What's that, Trev? Oh, you're a bit busy. Okay, mate. I'll call you later. Yeah, yeah, much later. Okay. Bye. Miss you. Oh, there you are. Right. Uh, I've just come here to Thirsty Camel to get my cousin Nick a bottle of Uzo for his 50th birthday and there's no one here. It's closed. Apparently you've all gone to Greece for a holiday and a conference. So the Greek has come to Thirsty Camel and all the Thirsty Camels have gone to Greece. I don't care about the camel. I'm bloody thirsty. I want my Uzo. Oh, I guess you're doing your thing for the Greek economy. That's nice of you. Thank you very much. But while you're there in Greece, make sure you don't stay in Athens and the mainland. Go out there and check out the islands. They need your help too. Of course, you guys are going to be going to the party island, Mykonos. But here's a little tip when you're in Mykonos. Make sure you don't drop your wallet because you're going to have to kick it all the way back to the hotel before you can pick it up again. It's the sexy island, you know. And then there's all the beautiful islands of Greece. Um, the island with all the cleaning ladies, Demestos. The island with all the rich people, Ephpos. The island that's owned by James Hardy Industries. That's right, Asbestos. The island with all the lesbians, Mytilini, all right? It's Mytilini, not Lesbos. Oh, and then there's the island that's named after one of your guys, Nick Pseudos, but it's Pseftos with a silent P. And I'm not lying. Actually... I don't know why you guys have gone to Greece. Is it because of the food? Because we've got Greek food here in Australia. I went to my mum's house the other day and she had it all laid out on the table. She had tzatziki, sudaki, steki, anaki, domata, salata, patata, fata, kota, horta, spanakopita, fasolada, macaronada, puti, furia, kuluria, kura, bietes, kiftedes, baklava, kimelo, macaro, supa, fruta, yemsta, tuta, kolo, kivia, kekrimidia, galak, tuburiko, kifistikia. And that was just the entree. And then I go and get myself a plate and she goes, down it, you're too fat. You're 50 years of age. You're going to die if you get too fat. I said, Mum, all my life you've been telling me to eat, eat, eat. In Greek, it's fai, fai, fai. I thought my name was fai until I was 10 years of age. But it's not. It's Yorios, or as you guys say, George, because us Greeks, we had to shorten our names so the Aussie kids could pronounce them. So while you're in Greece, why don't you do the opposite? Why don't you elongate your names, Greekify them, so you all fit in? For example, Heather Stewart, are you there? You've got a very Aussie name, so why don't you change your name to Heather Ruler, Hadzi Papa Stewartopoulos. See, that sounds more Greek, doesn't it? And, and Trevor, Trevor Maisie, he's probably a bit hazy because he's hung over. Trevor Maisie, you can change your name from Trevor to Travapuli, Travapuli Maziakis. See, that rolls off the tongue. In fact, why don't you guys change the name of the whole company while you're in Greece? So instead of Thirsty Camel, you can be Thirsty Camilla Vachtilo, which in translation means uh, thirsty camel toe. Hey, have you guys been to the Acropolis yet? Oh, I love the Acropolis. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. Yeah, that was put together by all the ancient Greeks, very intelligent people. The, the ancient Greeks filled with scholars and philosophers. You know, it was them that shaped the Western civilization as we know it today. It was their ideas with names like... Um, Socrates and Plato and Aristotle, Columbarus, Pythagoras, he was a mathematical genius. In fact, the ancient Greeks were very mathematical. These days it's more the Asian students. But hey, there's nothing wrong with the Asian people. Very intellectual people, the Asian people. Chinese people, very intellectual. If only Adam and Eve were Chinese, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. If Adam and Eve were Chinese, they would have eaten the snake. No more problems. Chinese Eve would have said to Chinese Adam, Hey Adam, how about a 69? You want snake and black bean sauce now? You're crazy? Crazy, crazy for being so ornery. Life's tough in paradise. Yes, and of course the Greeks were very good at sports. The ancient Greeks invented the Olympic Games. So while you're there in Greece, you should visit Olympia, the first Olympic stadium built 3,000 years ago by the ancient Greeks. And next to the stadium... There's the car park where the ancient Greeks used to park their Monaros. We're not very good at sport anymore, us, us Greeks. We're, we're pretty shit, actually. I mean, we won the European Cup in 2004 in the soccer, but now we're shit at soccer. Every time we get a corner, we put a takeaway shop on it. Every time we get a foul, we put in a spit roast, put tzatziki all over it. It's delicious. But we have become the laughing stock 
of the planet. Everyone's having a go at us about our financial disposition, our sexual practices. Hey, us Greeks invented sex. It was years later we introduced it to women, but we invented sex, all right? Life's tough. It's been a tough couple of years for all of us, especially you guys that thirsty camel, or should I say thirsty Camilo Dachtilo, maybe you should take a Camilo Dachtilo to a shopping centre and get a pedicure, but it's a Camilo Dachtilo, so maybe you should get a Brazilian, but that wouldn't be very Greek, would it, because they're good at soccer. (laughs) Anyway, you've had your ups and downs, but you've pulled through. I mean, check this out. This out. Check something out. Yeah, oh, hi, apparently you guys do deliveries, is that right? Oh, cool, great. Well, can I please have a bottle of Uzo sent to my cousin Nick's house for his 50th birthday? Where does he live? I don't know. He's a Greek guy called Nick and he lives in the western suburbs of Adelaide. That should narrow it down a bit. Oh, hi, I'll call you back later. Oh, you're there. On behalf of the Thirsty Camel Advertising Agency, us, them, them, we'd like to wish you a great stay in Greece. Have a great time. Look after yourselves. Be careful and see you back home safe and sound. And here's a few words in Greek to help you along the way. So the Greek word for thank you is malaka. Can you guys say that on the count of three? Here we go. One, two, three. Malaka. Very good. You were great, Heather Ruler. You need to practice your malaka a little bit. Maybe next time you're at the coffee shop ordering your frappe or maybe when you're picking up your suitcases from the concierge, just say it, malaka. You'll be amazed how a little Greek can get you a long way. And speaking of little Greeks, I'm saying goodbye. My name's George Kapanyaris. Yasu. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, before I go, somebody, please, bring me back a bottle of Uzo for my cousin Nick's 50th birthday. He'll be 51 before he gets it. Okay? Malaka. See? It works. Who can you trust? Yasu.